So what we're gonna do now is Italian uh, pepper steak. The best tip I can give you is to throw the meat in the freezer for about 10 minutes. The meat starts to set up and it gets nice and firm. So if you're trying to cut meat against the grain and very thinly slice it, the idea that it's gotten a little bit firm and grainy allows you to do that more safely and with a better effect. We're gonna serve our pepper steak over toast instead of rice. So we're gonna make garlic butter to make garlic bread out of our toast. Yeah, I know. So we're gonna throw a couple of fat cloves of garlic into butter. And in the butter, you can put some EVOO. You can put some good fruity olive oil for the flavor. And you're going to let that flavor of the garlic permeate and spread out in that garlic butter and olive oil mixture. In our super hot skillet, we're going to add the lighter olive oil, salt and pepper, and get it out of the pan. When we come back, I'll show you this next step. Kids, I got a plate over here. We're cooking our thinly sliced steak. And now we're going to add to the pan uh, mild peppers and onions and lots of garlic. And then we'll finish our pepper steak with sherry, or you can use red vermouth or wine. Meanwhile, we took the fatty olive oil and butter, added some garlic to the butter. And if you're just going to eat charred bread. So you can just rub this with, with garlic um, and drizzle it with a little olive oil. Most people love this, in my family, dressed like proper garlic bread. So you toast the bread a little bit first, and then you douse it with the garlic and olive oil butter. We're going to sprinkle it with fresh thyme and fresh parsley and some grated Parmigiano cheese. And then you put it back in the oven just for a flash to melt the cheese into the bread. I'm not allowed to toast bread on the show because I set it on fire, so I have a stunt toaster. <laughs> Absolute truth. Uh, I have a stunt toaster and her name is Jeanette. Jeanette! <laughs> Jeanette will toast our bread. When we come back, we'll finish the dish and plate up after this. To your peppers and onions, you're gonna add some tomato paste or sun-dried tomato paste. Then you're going to deglaze the pan and lift up all of the drippings from the vegetables and the steaks with your choice of red wine, white wine, dry sherry, or what I like is red vermouth. Oh, it smells amazing. So you use your tongs or a spoon to just pick up all those great drippings at the bottom of the pan. If you want to make this with no alcohol involved, do the same process, deglaze the pan with beef stock or beef broth. To serve this, you're going to take a toast with the garlic, butter, olive oil mixture, and the cheese and the herbs. Put that down on the bottom. Set the meat and the vegetables on top so that that softens the bread as you're eating dinner. And then the way we serve it in my family is to finish with a splash of hot pepper juice and a few hot cherry pepper rings. There you go.